gave a lot of my life to the public. But y'all don't really know. Hey, YouTube tubers, it's your girl, Miss Mellow Melly, coming at you guys again. Um, and today I'm going to do um, a little review. Um, I got a weave put in, I think September 1st, so it's almost been two weeks. And I wanted to wait two weeks so I could give you guys an honest review um, on the hair that I selected. Um, I got this hair, quick story, I got this hair um, when I was out with a friend and we just happened to pass a beauty supply store and I said, you know, let me stop there before um, we leave. I went in and they were having a sale where it was buy one, get one free on the Model Model um, Moisture Remy Remist Hair. I, I guess it's a new, a new avenue for the brand. It's another one of their um, versions of the Model Model Hair. Um, so I picked up two packages, picked up a 10 inch and a 1B and a 12 inch and a 1 because they didn't have another 12 inch and a 1 and really there's really not too much difference between the two color wise. Just one's got a slightly browner tint than the other, which is of course the 1B. Um, so this is what the packaging looks like. Moisture Remy Remus, it's 100% human hair, Remy hair. Uh, basically, they describe it as um, premium quality, 100% human hair. It's designed to balance the optimal level of moisture to keep the hair healthy, bouncy, and luminous. They're talking about the Remus technology. Uh, Remus moisture condition retention technique makes hair strong to damage strong makes hair strong to damage by regular use of hot tools. Remus does not shed with any easy so. Easy weft um, exclusive innovations known as a sophisticated weft technique. We miss moisture conditioned hair is soft and vibrant while providing the most intense shine, body, and texture. Like I said, I've had it in since uh, the first. I actually haven't had a chance to wash it yet. Just, um, I guess, my initial thoughts on the hair. And I'll take it down. Right now, I've been basically, I haven't really done a whole lot with it. I've been wearing it um, in a ponytail for the last week or so simply because I just haven't had time to really devote to it so I'll take it down so you guys can see and I did a partial so I've got basically like a small chunk out at the top here I don't know if you guys can see my nappy naps there and this like right here where I have the two braids is because I still have a decent amount of color in my hair but I didn't want to get hair this color I wanted to get the darker hair and wear that, so this is what I've been doing. Uh, long story short, um, the hair does tangle a little bit, but that's to be ex expected. Um, if it's long enough to rub against your neck or um, your clothing, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, um, you know, have a little bit of tangling, especially in the back where, where it's rubbing a little bit. Overall, the hair, the texture of the hair is um, it's smooth. I wouldn't say it's not super silky. Um, it's pretty realistic if you've got um, a perm in your hair or you're natural and you get it flat ironed or pressed to make it straight. Uh, shedding wise, um, it doesn't really shed too much unless you, you know, are combing out those tangles you might have from it rubbing against you. And even though, the one thing I noticed, even though they said it was um, 10 inches and 12 inches, I feel like it's longer than that. And I'll stand up and show you guys. So this is where the 12 inches falls on me. And it could just be me. Um, I don't know, but it seems like it's longer than 12 inches. Comes like right here by the side of my chest. So I don't mind that it's longer, it's okay. I'm glad I actually went with the 12 inch instead of the 14, so that worked out. Um, I'm gonna do another follow up after I wash it so you guys can kind of see how it takes. Um, I curled it once, um, it does hold a curl pretty well. Um, after I wash it, I'll do another video and, and curl it so you guys can see uh, basically, you know, how it holds a curl and how it looks. Um, like I said, I really haven't been wearing it down too much. And the first night 
um, I got it done. I did wrap it, but then after that, I haven't wrapped it at all. I've just pretty much kept it in a ponytail when I go to sleep and then put a bandana over my natural hair. And I've just either been wearing it like this with the two braids down or pulling it back into a ponytail. So yeah, I don't do a whole lot of high maintenance looks. This is basically uh, just to give my hair a rest from getting it pressed. So that is it, ladies and gents. Um, like I said, I'm going to wash it for the first time tomorrow. So I will definitely um, give an update on how that went. Let you guys see it. Um, if any changes occur texture-wise or anything, I'll definitely make note of that. So, yep, just for re-emphasis, it was the model model uh, remist here. So far, so good. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to leave it in for maybe another four weeks, so six weeks total, and then get it redone for my trip um, to Vegas. Uh, on a secondary note, um, I purchased two more packs of a different type of hair. Um, it's also straight hair, but I'm thinking I wanted to do curly hair for the next um, weave that I get. So I'm looking to sell the two packages of hair that I purchased. Um, one package is 10 inches, the other is 12 inches, and they're both in a 1B. Um, the brand of this hair, particular hair, is the um, by Hollywood. It's the Indio Remy Virgin hair. Um, I only open the packages to take pictures of them to post them on eBay for sale. Um, so if anybody's interested in um, these hair, they can definitely go on eBay. Uh, my seller name on eBay is Melly Dix 1984 or you can just search under um, human hair extensions and I think it pops up underneath there. But yeah, I'll just show you um, the hair. Nothing wrong with it. I just wanted to do maybe a curly look for the next um, weave that I do. This is the hair. This is the 12 inches. If you guys can see it. Very silky texture. Um, yeah, I'm just looking to do curly. So, if you're interested, definitely look it up. Let me know. Okay, you guys, thank you for basically giving me the time of day. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or want to see anything else, let me know. Hit me up in the yeah, suggestion box, or you can email me. Um, let me know. So, you guys have a great evening, and I'll talk to you later.